The Panthers Poundcast is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are solely those of the presenters and in no way reflect the views of the Panthers organization. Listener discretion is advised. You got it. Podcast. I'm special guest host Master Splinter here with Jamaicus Plow 333. What it is? And the Tominator. The Tominator in the flesh. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. It's going great. <laughs> awesome. How convincing. Yep. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds I like I practiced it all afternoon. <laughs> awesome. Is it afternoon already? Yes. And I just woke up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I've already been to over to Ballantyne and back today. What did you order in Fancy Land? I had breakfast with my parents. Isn't that the most awesome thing ever? There's worse things in the world. <laughs> there are. And like, it was delicious, too. If we you went, don't hate your parents, it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, we went to, uh, oh, what's that place called? Another the buffet. Famous Toastery. Never heard of it. It was real, real good. Shout out. Free advertising. Yeah, the us Famous money. Toastery. <laughs> Give us money. What have you done today, Tom? Woke we'll up first thing this morning. Went to church. Yeah. Came back up from church. For yeah. those of you who don't know, which I would assume is everyone, <laughs> Tom is a master of the bells. Oh yeah, he is a bell master. He plays yes. the bells. Yeah. And it's bell mastering. What notes do you play, sir? I play C and D. There you have it. <laughs> he is a baller of the first degree. There it is. C <laughs> and D. Well, anyway. What's going on in Panthers news, Joe Micus? Not a whole lot. Slow week, but there are a few topics worth discussing. Number one, does anyone know who the last team to lose in the Super Bowl and go back to it was? Other than the Bills a bunch of times. Your favorite team, wasn't it? 72 Dolphins or something like that. Didn't they do that? Yeah, they, uh, they lost the Super Bowl in 71. And then we went, went back in, and went undefeated in 72. Well, I, a lot of reports out there are comparing this current Panther team to them, saying that we have the same formula, formula makeup with coaching, running game, defense-oriented, to do the same type of thing, plus with Cam being himself. So that's something worth thinking about, being positive and hopeful about. While the stats don't look positive, trending toward us hitting another Super Bowl, we have that moxie that could perhaps buck that trend. Well, you have to look at what actually causes these teams not to go back to the Super Bowl. Typically, if you go to the Super Bowl, the players on that team are going to want more money. And a lot of times there are a lot more free agents leaving than what the Panthers had this year. We, uh, we only had a couple of free agents that were really going to affect anything, one of those being Josh Norman. And while we did lose him, I don't think that a single cornerback is going to break us in the next year. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. I don't think we've lost any pieces. So unless there was some kind of change in the coaching philosophy or the attitude of the team post Super Bowl appearance, I guess, uh, I I definitely see us as a potential Super Bowl winner next year. Thoughts? I do. If we got the same line coming back on offense and defense, same linebackers. Yep. I mean, all you gotta do is put more pressure on the quarterback. I mean, the defense. And you protect the corners. Exactly. The defense is what we've really relied on, and more specifically, we've really relied on the front seven. So that remains unchanged, if not improved through the addition of Paul Solia. Then, I mean, you can't argue. And, the, and Shaq getting another year under his belt. Ben Wicker, he's mm -hmm. still, he'll be primed for a breakout yeah. year. Yeah, Coleman, I don't expect to see any kind of drop Trey off Boston's there. hyped. I mean, we, I think we'll be solid. Yeah. I, I think that we could be better than we were last year. 
Speaking of secondary, Mr. Tillman has come back out and said, in fact, he would like to play only for the Panthers next season. And he would consider it after training camp like a smart old player does so he doesn't have to sweat his balls off in the Spartanburg <laughs> heat. So what do you think that means? Do you think he, he's a kind of already talked to the Panthers and there's an feel, agreement in place? Just like when you mentioned you saw him working out in our shit a month ago. I just I feel like yeah, it's yeah. kind of understood if he wants to come back and will play for cheap, why would you not at this point? Especially when uh, what the one thing that we really lack in the secondary, we have speed, we have size. The real thing that we're lacking is veteran experience. So he needs if, to teach all the new kids the punch. Exactly. <laughs> we saw Josh use that last year. We saw Boston, all those fools, Coleman. Exactly. And if he can teach the new guys the peanut punch, <laughs> I think yeah, you take that all day long. And I like when you miss the peanut punch, you fucking hit someone in the kidneys. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Love the peanut punch. Yeah. Fuck people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck everyone. Yeah. That shit makes me excited right there. So I hope we get him back just for my personal feelings. You? I do. I, I love Charles. I think he's great. But didn't they already give one of the rookies his damn number? They have to sw someone switching numbers. Fucking Sanchez, right? Someone, yeah. Someone's <laughs> got thirty-one already. That'd be fun. Anyways, <laughs> speaking more cornerbacks, you mentioned Mr. Norman. He did something sweet this past week. He did indeed. The Dark Knight. He uh, took out a ad in the Charlotte Observer and thanked the Carolinas for everything. And you would kind of expect that because he is a Carolina boy. He's from Greenwood, South Carolina. He went to Coastal Carolina down in Myrtle Beach, and then he came to the Carolina Panthers. You, you don't, if for anybody that, I, where are you from, Tom? From Florida. From Florida. Well, uh, Mike and I are both from Charlotte and from the Carolinas, and it's one of those things, I'm sure it's the same with many states, but you have a sense of pride about where you're from, and when you go through your entire high school, college, and start your professional career in one place, it's hard not to get attached, and yeah, I still love Josh Norman. Like I said in last week's episode, I've met him, and he has never been anything but a polite, wonderful person to be around. So, uh, good on you, Josh. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, we do miss you. Thanks for the ad. It made my heart tingle with joy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I hope that we only slightly crush the Redskins. I hope we murder them. But anyway, <laughs> no, no love when it comes game time. Yeah. So we go back to Vegas. Some odds come out that Aaron Rodgers nudges Cam Newton out in MVP winning odds for next season. Aaron Rodgers, then Cam Newton. Why? Just because Nelson comes back? That's pretty weak. That's what I think. Well, it, it can say that, but Jordy Nelson comes back. Kelvin Benjamin comes back. I mean, Nelson's more proven, I suppose, as is Rodgers. But whatever, I just think it's stupid. But, I mean, I guess it's hard to win back-to-back -back MVPs as well. Yeah. Odds are against you in all these departments, but we're going to buck all the trends again. <laughs> Speaking of Mr. Newton, Thomas Davis says he has matured since Super Bowl post-game interview meltdown by some sore losing considered by <laughs> others who agree with it. <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. Yeah. Everyone defended Cam still. How do you feel about that? Were you, were you incensed by Cam's post-game? I wasn't. You need a fuck losing. It sucks. Because I'm like, I'm like, you work that long, that hard. You play with... For the rest of... Steal the game. Went through what he went through all season long with, you know, making do at wide receiver. I mean, there's no right. other way. There's no other way to nicely and put Ted that. Ginn's your number one. <laughs> and again, you know... Ted Ginn had, little, what, 18 receptions the year before? Something like that? Some it, shit. It, it, some just abnormally low yeah. amount. And then he comes back and has ten touchdowns. Take great, that great season. He could have had more if he, you know, caught the damn ball. Have the Give him some stick him before he goes out there. I wish that yeah. was legal. You gotta. <laughs> now here's some something tar. interesting. <laughs> I saw just as a kind of side note. While we're, while we're talking about drops, we've talked in the past about Philly Brown. I read an interesting stat. All of last year, Philly Brown had one drop. That is, that is from Pro Football Reference. I verified it with NFL.com. It is 100% true that so it he has all it one for. catchable drop. All right. Well, I guess some of the shit we see isn't catchable in some yeah. other standard because I saw 100. <laughs> but I'm not getting killed by my back. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just hope we're better. I want to win the Super Bowl. Speaking of what else, let's just go down the book line. You just told you about the book being released by Ryan Khalil, Jordan Gross, and Jeff Hangartner, a rookie hand bet book of how to survive your first year in the NFL. A comedy, a tribute, a story for all and for rookies. Comes out, I think, week one. Pretty sweet. Interesting. 
Should Sounds funny. Good. Sounds like we have a book report. We probably get an autograph. <laughs> we definitely have a book report. That's interesting news. Check that shit out. Support your offensive linemen who are very funny and good people. And all played very well for us. Trey Boston had a birthday this week. Happy birthday, Dreadman. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Trey. What else, Tom? Didn't you have some news stories? I got some news stories. <laughs> I think Splinter has some news stories. It's, it's week on news. Oh, one more good-hearted thing. Greg Olson made a hundred grand on auctioning off his Camaro for charity. That was pretty nice of him. And it was yeah. a badass Camaro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you see it? There's a picture of it right there. You see that damn thing, 1969? I bet you he there got that you can't see it, but there from it Keffer Jeep Dodge, the family store. <laughs> Sponsor us. The only other thing I really have is that Luke Keekley said that the Panthers will keep their, I guess, badass attitude without Josh Norman. Now, he yeah. didn't say that, but that's what I inferred from his words, because we're not going to be no, no pussies. That's no. just how it is. Never. Now, see, I kind of feel I feel like this is a good move for the Panthers, not necessarily losing Norman, but losing Norman. Because in the past on this team, we've seen what a very strong attitude can do to the locker room mm-hmm. or split it apart. And I think right now everyone's happy with Cam Newton running the locker room. I think so, and too. And then Keekly, like, 1A. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I think mean, I think this helped, I think this clears the way for Keekley now to have more of a voice, like Cam Newton finally did when Smith left. And I can't imagine that Luke has been without a voice for the past couple of years because he's, you see him out on the field. He is vocal. He is a force to be reckoned with. Like yeah, even last year, if you had said Josh is getting in Luke's face, there is no way I would say that Luke is not going to win that argument or fight or however that ends. Luke is going to kill Josh. But anyway, NFL news around the league. Fun fact, these are from uh, the NFL subreddit. Fun fact, every current team in all major U.S. sports, all four, has been to the playoffs since the Buffalo Bills. That's hurtful. We talked about how hurtful. sorry they were last <laughs> week, I think, didn't we? Yeah, and poor Bills. Damn it. I mean, not really, because Buffalo, their team misery equals their city's real misery. That's a fact. And they deserve it, I think. Mm-hmm. I hate Buffalo. The only thing that came out of there was Cannibal Corpse, and even they left that to go to Florida, where it doesn't suck as bad. <laughs> yeah. So. Florida gets hit by hurricanes constantly, and they said it's still better than Buffalo. <laughs> so... Well, the league's been talking for years trying to move Buffalo into Canada. Didn't Bon Jovi try to help out with mm-hmm. that? Fail. Just like your last ten albums. <laughs> Mark Sanchez. Not direct TV. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that shit's bad. Want to turn back some time? Those commercials are bad. <laughs> what about old Sanchez again? Old Sanchez has been the victim of a Ponzi scheme. Oh, all in all, they are saying that he has lost 7.8 Million dollars. Any details on what kind of scheme it was? Uh, I we can start one. Yeah, for real. Details, but we need to figure that out. I need his email address. I need him to start selling Avon for me. (laughs) And finally, Amway. Big old Vince Wilfork. He is going to be in the ESPN body issue. What does that mean? That means his big old 325 pound naked ass is going to be all over ESPN magazine. Wow, they're going to put one of those protective is, shields it, up for children. You know, store. I'm thinking that it's going to have to be like a centerfold just so that they can fit him into the actual picture. Is it a KFC yet? <laughs> <laughs> he, he is a big old boy. What teams he play for nowadays? I think he's down in Houston now. He is a fat fuck. I mean, he is a fat bastard. <laughs> that is for sure. I don't care how many weights you live. You're a fat bastard. I, I, I hear nothing but good things about him as a person, but he is a fat bastard, and he is going to be all kinds of naked. Like I said, 300. Is there anything pounds. good about that issue? You read about someone worth looking at naked, like a woman Haven't. who's hot? I know that, that I think last They're year during the body season. issue it was like Ronda Rousey and uh, I think vanished. I mean everyone's uh, like oh du- she's so hot but I don't really Dwayne like Wade <laughs> I know that I you want to see Dwayne Wade, Wade naked I like to see him my third stop it was wrong sport I'm about to turn hatred on the wrong sport right. <laughs> fuck anyway. Dwayne Wade that piece of shit but fuck you LeBron for winning the championship I hate you Cleveland see yeah. you Cleveland <laughs> fuck you kind of a slow news week so let's just move into Splinter Stupid Game of the Week hosted by Tom. What? <laughs> I just <laughs> we have just Wait. Messing with him. What? <laughs> Alright, well I am going to do Splinter Stupid Game of the Week. Oh, you know what? Damn it. No, we're not. 
You forgot about the monkey shit. Monkey shit? Des Bryant and monkey shit. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't it Des Bryant? Yeah, yes. I think it was Des Bryant. Put your hat on, Carlos. <laughs> By the way, Carlos isn't here if you didn't fucking notice. There's not a Mexican here. Yeah. <laughs> he sits there and he's, you know, kind of giant. <laughs> Hi, Carlos. Oh, we, we didn't mention you because you never take us on vacation. We're yeah. you know, fucking working on Sunday. Look at us. We've been here every week. Time. And there you are already gone. Like the damn eagle song. Fun fact, this is our 18th episode. 18th, and you're not here. No happy 18th and episode he, to you, He has Carlos. been gone, what, twice? Los Panteros, twice. my ass. No Los You have Panteros. been gone a ninth of the time. Yeah, no one's friends with you. Except people that aren't nice. Tom, are you friends with Carlos? No. Hell no. No, I'm pissed at him. I don't see Carlos enough. I love your wife, though. Hello, Linda. Your, your wife I see, is awesome. I see Hi, Carlos about twice a year. Anyway, so. talk about monkey shit, please. All right, so Des Bryant is being sued because I believe it was a hotel room. I don't know if it was a hotel room, if he rented something somewhere. Well, anyway, he rented a space. You know we don't research our news. Yeah, yeah fuck that. That's for the professionals. Yeah, fuck that. I don't, don't get paid for this shit. He's just a dickhead who let his monkey shit all over his face. <laughs> he fucking left it there. First off, fuck you for having a monkey. Second off, fuck you for letting your monkey shit all over the place. Third place, fuck you because you're a cowboy and a piece of shit, just in general. Like the shit all over the floor. So fuck you a lot, and what an asshole. I hope they win a bunch of money off you, you stupid piece of shit. That's all the news about that. Anyhow, Splinter's Game of the Week. Splinter's Stupid Game of the Week. Woo! Splinter's Stupid Game of the Week, hosted by me. Splinter in the last two weeks is 2-0 against the absentee Carlos Panteros. Is it slightly odd that we call it Splinter Stupid Game of the Week and I've hosted it like once? Well, you started it. I know. <laughs> it should be called what it started by. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, and who, well, I don't want to think of a new name every week. Okay. So what we do here, Splinter, Splinter, I'm looking at him. <laughs> what we're doing here, What we do Splinter. here at Tominator <laughs> is I have compiled a list of jersey numbers of current and past Panthers. You get two guesses, but it is a yell out as fast as you can. So you can yell out to whoever gets the most is the champion, and then I have a trivia question or two, perhaps, if I feel like getting froggy with you fools. Oh, Lord. All right, here we go. Pretty recent Panther, but no longer with the team, and general piece of shit, Brandon LaFell. 11. Boom, 1-0. Keep your own score, I won't keep up with it. Maybe I haven't thought about this guy in a while. Special teamer, Reese Lloyd, kicker, extraordinary. Eight. Mm -mm. Nine? Mm-mm. Ole, 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 dude. Kid touch back master. Kid just, touch back Just man. fucking guess. You both have another number to guess. And you know it's a single digit. Yeah, so you guess. No, six. I guess. Yeah, I've nope. already guessed two. I well, guess eight, six. Eight, five. No point. Oh. You are both fired. All right. Reese, I'm sorry. Really, really, really shitty wide receiver. Carrie Colbert. 86. Mm -mm. 83. Boom. Two eight. zip. Current. Roster spoke of him earlier. Well, sort of. We did, but we didn't talk about the news. Baltimore thinks he's a ripoff. Michael Orr. 73. Ooh, two to one. Damn you, Old John. Timer. Old timer. Great memories of this dude. Early Panther. Wesley Wells. 88. Nope. 80. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, I'm trying to... 89. Nope. I'm going to feel so bad when I don't get this. 83. 85? Boom, 85. <laughs> 3 to 1. <laughs> Chris Campbell. 28. 21. Who said, what did you say? I said 28. 20, is it? No. Oh. 3, so it's 3 to 1? Shit. All right, this is, I don't know. Uh, all right, you ready? Are you ready? You yeah. need this right here. 3 to 1. You need this because it's the last one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to have trivia to tie it up. Legadoo 9A. Wide receiver. 83. 81. You're out. Damn. 87. 86. 17. Uh, uh, yeah, 17. Uh, I, I, see, the teens always <laughs> fuck me up. And now it's most of the damn team. <laughs> All right, here we go. Check this out. What happened this? to the eight numbers? Yeah, the seven for real. numbers. <laughs> Check this out. Everybody's afraid of eight. Three to one, but I have a two point trivia question. Okay. Oh, shit. Of all the teams in the NFL, who was the last team? the Carolina Panthers beat in the regular season. Who was the last team that they beat? The Saints? No, no I'm, t I'm talking about, like, of all the teams, they had beaten every other team in the regular season. The Miami Saints. Dolphins. Damn. Your old team. That's why I thought you might win it. 5-1, to one, you got <laughs> slaughtered. 3-0 oh over here. 3-0, oh, Splinter is the man. But yes, that is true. It took us forever to beat the fucking Dolphins. It was actually when we beat them in the damn mm -hmm. can beat them. You remember 
the year before. That long. I think it, the year before that was the year that Ricky Williams just destroyed oh, us. That was like 09, <laughs> wasn't it? Thursday Night Football or some shit? Mm-hmm. We don't see them that often, granted, but that's still a crappy thing. Like, I'm so happy we finally beat those sorry fucks. So, that's that. Rumor has it that I don't have any rumors. Do you have any rumors? That's where you make up something that's really not true. <laughs> so, think about someone you really hate and tell me something you heard about them in the NFL. It could be anyone. Or a team in general, owner, cheerleaders that do crack in the bathroom, whatever. <laughs> What'd you hear? You have to, the guests have to do the right I heard that thing. Arthur Blank's actually dead. And just kind of, nobody's told him. He I actually heard he, he, doesn't he have something? Like sickness for real though? I don't know. Yeah. I think he has I think he had something. cancer or something. Yeah, I think, I would, he doesn't look healthy at all. No, he doesn't look good. <laughs> That's when you live in Atlanta, you're fucking will to live and the soul withers and dies. So there's a fucking example. <laughs> That's uh, a fact. What have, what have you heard? Anything? Just make something up. You're on Showtime. Yeah. This is live. <laughs> it's live feed. It's not really live. We're recording this and we're going to release it later. Carlos is going to make it. That's how all of this works. <laughs> Carlos is going to make it. All right. Well, rumor has it that there are no rumors Johnny Manziel we... became a Mormon. There we go. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. That's where he's been. Yeah, that's it. Rumor has it. So, Jibba Jabba. Jibba jabba. J- jibba jabba. This week we're gonna go in a, a little bit of a different direction. And I hate it. I know you do. But you hate everything. Yep. Who is your favorite non Panther to watch? Like, it doesn't have to be that you respect this person. It doesn't have to be that you like this person. But when you go to a game, who is your favorite non Panther to see play? The hot dog vendor. <laughs> Hot dog vendor is always Mike's favorite. Are we Are talking current or retired? I have we, another question. It, it doesn't matter. Does that mean people that were a panther? You, it, They can be a former panther. Steve Smith. Well, obviously. That's <laughs> it, that's going to be the number one pick for most well, panther I don't have to talk fans. anymore. It's up to you guys now. I'm <laughs> okay, here. so let's go. Since we already have a former panther, let's try and stay away from panthers. D'Angelo Williams. <laughs> no, I'm done. That's all I want I care about. I was love you, D. Will. I was gonna say Dan Marino. That's who I grew up watching and grew up a Dolphin fan. I forgot. Tom's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had many teams by now. <laughs> what did you like about old Marini? I just love that he just like just threw as hard as he possibly could at everyone on the field, <laughs> including defenders. <laughs> hard arm. Yep. He never won Super Bowl. Nope. He went in his. Second year he went to the Super Bowl. Went up against Montana. How many seasons did he play? Got splattered. Played 18. Wow, damn it. <laughs> that, <laughs> was, sucks. that was about that was about three too many and he had like those like Robocop ankles. He never made he it back to the Super Bowl. Never. Shit in the stick. That's yeah. so stick. That's a lot of years. Yeah. I mean that was I was starting to think that was far till he finally won one. Well stupid pay I do. Cheese for Honestly <laughs> Uh, that's where I'm going. Like, if I'm being completely honest, the first time I saw Peyton Manning play, and this was not last year when he was a complete shell of himself, and the Super Bowl, uh, he was awful. Uh, all of last season, he was awful. But when I saw him play in his prime, it was like watching an artist paint. Like, he, he he really understood everything that was going on around him. And it looked like he was just playing at a different speed than everybody else. He just, like, I saw him get a throw off when he didn't see, there, there was a guy running free behind him, like, <laughs> coming for him. And he must have felt it. And I've seen plenty of quarterbacks take that hit. And he just kind of knew. It, it was it was like his performance was enhanced. It was like, <laughs> you know, it was almost like he was cheating. Hmm. Al Jazeera has spoken of this. How <laughs> surprising that Peyton what a Ryan reliable had cheated. News outlet. <laughs> no disrespect there. And also, I feel that Dan Marino's best work was in Little Nicky. <laughs> and Ace Ventura. Ozzy was pretty good in Little Nicky, too. Yeah, that, that, other than that, Dan Marino going to eat us. And dude. as far as Ace Ventura goes... Best cameo in that? Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> From Florida, not Buffalo. Yeah. Anymore. Well, Florida death metal. I don't know. I mean, there's so many great players. Obviously, I shit on everyone that's not a Panther because I hate them all to death. 
But, you know, I like to watch certain players, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to think of one that's not Steve or D. Will. There's got to be one. Let's Watching see. Ray Lewis was fun. Uh, yeah, I this was cool. I, I fucking hate everybody so much. Yeah. I'm having a hard time. Like, I... Um, if I'm thinking about the it, like the things that I'll tell my kids about, like I mean, of as course, much, seeing the great stupid Tom Brady and all those dicks. Yeah, see, and, and, and seeing Tom Brady, watching Randy Moss play, and watching Favre. Favre. I mean, there's Dabry. there's just so many that you can't name. I think by the end of it, being able to tell my kids that I watched Julio Jones play on my team twice a year was hell. It, I mean, it was we, awesome. we've seen a lot of Super Bowl winners. We've seen Russell Wilson a shit ton of times. We've seen Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. We've seen we've seen all the greats for fucking all these years. We go to all these games. I mean, so it's it's nice to see all these guys. And but you know, I don't know. I just like to hate them. Yeah, I don't care. And I feel like my guys are better than yours, even if they're not. But most of them are. Like Cam and Luke and all of our huge guys that are awesome. So fuck all of your fans. And, you know, I'm not. I was gonna get respectful, but now I thought about it. No, fuck all you people. Yeah, anyway, I'm, done. I'm out. So fairly short show this week. Carlos it's, it's will be back next. Almost week. football season. It is almost football season, and then maybe people will start watching us, and maybe we'll watch ourselves. Maybe we will, and maybe Tom will get naked next time. Incentive to tune in. Anyway, keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding.